I'm going to be doing a sunset and a sunrise painting today with Anna and Jen. So these are all my supplies right now. We're using acrylic paints and a canvas board. So we're going to put out some of our paints on our palette. You can see I've added two masking tape circles to the center of my canvas on either side. One side is going to be my sunrise and one side is going to be my sunset. When you lay out your colors in your paint palette, arrange them in a circle with a space in the middle to blend colors. You can do this on a paper plate. You can see I've put dots on my canvas. On one side I have five dots of white, on the other side one dot of red, two orange, and two yellow. I've also added one dot of magenta on the white side. What I'm going to start doing with the white side, using a larger brush, I'm going to smooth the white all across the sky. And you can go right over that sun area. And you're going to fill in that whole area. If you need more paint, just grab it. After you've blended in your white, you're going to grab a little bit of that other color that you've made, that magenta kind of red, and you're going to start adding it on your painting. It's almost going to look like an ombre where you're blending down the color into the bottom where you have all white. Again, if you need to add more paint, you can do that. You want to work kind of quickly because acrylic paint does dry rather fast. I've added a blue dot to that side, and I'm going to blend that in as well. What did you get back? On the other side of your painting, you're going to do the same thing going back and forth, making an ombre from the yellow down to the red. And this is what your painting should look like right now. I've now added three dots of white and one dot of blue on the bottom, and I'm going to blend that the same way that I blended the sky, having the top darker blue and the bottom lighter blue. I'm going to take more blue and add it towards the top of this, but I'm not going to make an even pattern. And then I'm going to blend that into the bottom. I'm going to take some more blue and I'm going to add another layer underneath, making that a little bit darker, and then blend that in. Again, you don't want a straight line, but we're going to blend that in towards the bottom. And if you need to add more white, you can do that. It will look almost like blue hills on your painting on the one side. On the other side of the painting, I have two white dots, a blue and a purple, and I'm going to blend that going from dark to light. I'm going to do the same thing by adding a dark purple hill type structure like I did on the opposite side. This is what your painting should look like right now. That looks lovely, Jennifer. But I don't know what happened with the mountains. They were crazy. That's fine. Now you're going to just put another layer of blue. Wait. A little lower. It's going to blend in with the other one.
For the sun on the left side, I'm going to paint it with white. Then I'm going to add a little bit of yellow and a touch of orange at the bottom for a shadow. I've painted my sun with white and now I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to it. You want to keep the top of your sun lightest and the bottom has the most yellow. Now I'm going to add a touch of orange to the bottom left corner of the sun. That's a close up of the sun so you can see where the darks and lights are. For the sun on the other side, I've painted the center white and the edges yellow. I've also painted the part of the purple where it's overlapped an orangey yellow that blends into the purple mountain. I'm going to use a palette knife to add some pink clouds to the left side and some yellow clouds to the right side. If you don't have a palette knife, you can use any flat instrument, even a butter knife. Here's how it looks with our clouds. You can actually even use a paintbrush if you want. On the bottom of the left side of the painting, I'm going to be adding blue and green, dark blue, dark green, trees by just tapping the top of the brush. Here's how I've tapped the bottom with blues and greens. At the bottom of that area, we're going to do that again, similar to how we did the blue mountains. We're going to put another layer of darker green. And here's what we have now. And I've added dark blue trees or bushes to the bottom right side of my painting in my sunset. Here's what it looks like so far. And we're going to end by adding another layer behind these trees in a slightly lighter blue. Since I masked off two sides of one painting, I'm going to peel the masking tape off while the girls finish their pictures, and then we'll show you the final products. And here we have Jen and Anna's paintings. You can add little details to it if you want. Jennifer added a palm tree and some birds in hers. Anna changed it up a little bit, and she added different types of trees on the bottom. It's totally up to you how you want to personalize your painting. Good luck!